next blue time. Well, last blue baton. I know people are probably like, girl, you said the collection was not that extensive, but it kind of is. Hi, Phillips Gang, and welcome back to our channel. So, today's video is um, about my luxury collection. And. I just got into a luxury so it's not that extensive but you know compared to people that just have one bag like it might be extensive but um enough of the rambling let's just get into the video so this is no actually let me sell my first luxury handbag this right here is the speedy 30 30 um and then damier a bean um print so i have an organizer inside of it but that's the color um it's a red interior which i love because i feel like it's just you know red is like hooker central so i love red this is the speedy 30 in the damier bean print and that was my first um luxury purchase so next is the Alma PM. This I don't know if this was yeah, this was the second one. Um my husband bought this for me for Christmas. I think it was in twenty nineteen. Um I didn't want the BB, the Alma BB, because I felt like, I mean, even when, like, I'm a small girl, I'm not that small, so I feel like it would look, like, kind of weird, so I wanted something that fit me, fit my size, my physique, and just didn't look, you know, weird, so this is the Alma PM in the monogram print. It has like a neutral color. What is that? I have a bobby pin in there. <laughs> that would come in handy, but it has a neutral like color in this inside. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. I'm a PM for the monogram print. I this is actually no, I, well I have two things in monogram and three things in monogram and one thing in Damier a bean print but I actually prefer the Damier a bean print be simply because the monogram monogram print if you have the um pochetta leather it will eventually turn into patina, which is a darker color than this. And you guys will see that um, in the Kipo. But yeah, I don't, I love, like love the monogram print, but I don't love how the leather, I guess, ages. So the Damier Abin, right here um is my go-to but i do love this like if i had to choose a print i would choose this but i would just choose it with the darker like handles but then it wouldn't be classic great so yeah you kind of beggars can be choosers but this is the alma pm uh and the monogram print and that was my second 
luxury purchase that my husband bought me for Christmas in 2019. I, no. He bought it for me in Christmas 2020. And the, this one, he, this was actually my first luxury purchase and he got this for me as a wedding present. So this was September 2020. I know everyone usually goes with the Neverfull, but I like to me, I feel like the Neverfull is gorgeous, like gorgeous. But I had a Michael Kors tote like that and the straps always broke because I'm that person that carries like more than I need. When I have a big bag, like I put more than you would actually need in it. So it just gave me really bad flashbacks and I was like, I don't want that bag. So I went for the Speedy because I feel like the Speedy is another classic and I just feel like it's gorgeous. So yeah, that's my little story of the day. Um, my next one, hmm. let's keep it a little time. So I actually have stuff in this still because we just came from vacation. So if you didn't check out that video, the Turks and Caicos video, check that out. Um, but this is the Keep All 55 in the Modern Grand Print. So just like I said earlier, the patina leather, the pochetta leather that turns into patina. You see how it's a different color. Let me actually grab this. So this is how it starts, right? See how that's like beautiful, like light. And this is like more, um, I guess like yellowish. So this is more like tan. Like tan was the color. It kind of matches what I have on, but should have worn it today. Um, but, and this is more yellowish, but I feel like I kind of like how this one looks more because it looks more chic. If like, I don't want to be like that person. Like, oh, I like this one better or whatever, but I love both of them. Don't get me wrong. I like, I love both of them, but ultimately this is going to start looking like this so might as well just get used to it um so yeah this is the keep all 55 huge and monogram print with a pochetta leather that turns into patina which i do not hate i feel like it gives it more of a vibe and this is a very new purchase um literally I got it probably a month ago. I got, literally I got it because we were going to Turks and Caicos and I was like, I just wanna travel in style, you know? And so I got it, it was an impulse purchase, but I will keep it forever, 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 forever. So yeah, keep all 55, my grandma. Oh. So, Next Louis Vuitton, well last Louis Vuitton. I know people are probably like, girl, you said your collection was not that extensive, but it kind of is. Um, last Louis Vuitton is my golden child, the posse bag. This is spice. If you watch my other videos, this is spice. And this bag it's my pride and joy. I wear it all the time. It's not an impulse purchase. I love it. It goes with literally everything. Um, it carries more than you would assume that it carries, but it's just a gorgeous bag. And it's literally one, honestly, I can't rely. It's my favorite bag. <laughs> It's my favorite bag. Um, and I just, I wore it. Um, recently we were traveling, just like I said, to Turks and Caicos. And I wore it on the airplane. And I was like 
so afraid to like you know how when um they're taking them off they're like oh you can put both the bags like under your seat and i was like yeah i'm not putting this beauty on under the seat i'll put her cross body and i'll wear her on my body okay so yeah this is my baby i love her i will continue to wear her i will continue to cherish her because she's that great the posse bag in the monogram print no patina thank god but it has these gorgeous this color i can't get over it i did an unboxing about it and i'll you know i'll put it pop it up on the screen right there but this gold these straps i like i just get so excited all over again this is how she comes is my baby this is my daughter i wear her all the time like i could just i could just go to a party right now this is my daughter so this is my favorite bag at the moment probably this moment will last forever but this is my favorite bag and yeah monogram print no patina thank god and it's just a gorgeous 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 bag get you one ladies so that's the last of my Louis Vuitton collection um four bags i'm looking to get the on the go but i'm just trying to like ask myself if i'm ready to spend like three thousand dollars on a bag when i can spend three thousand dollars on a trip so i don't know we'll see <laughs> um so now i'm gonna kick it back old school so this was actually my first crossbody bag it is the michael kors and I know people like look at it now like oh that's not really luxury but girl in high school if you had Michael Kors you were that bitch okay and even now like the designs that they're coming out with now I'll be looking at it like hmm that's kind of cute I wouldn't get it but it's cute for somebody but this was my first was it my first no it was my first but the other ones that I the other Michael Kors bags that I had, I kind of gave it away because I just didn't want to trash it because I felt like that was kind of like rude. But these are the ones that I held on to because like I still feel like you can wear them without like making it known that like it's Michael Kors. But this is Michael Kors. This is cross body bag. See that little gold right there? So with the posse bag, it, it put me onto the gold. Um. And it, it fits a lot in here, which is why I will not throw it away. Well, I have like makeup stains in there. But this is how the inside looks. It has a pocket right here. Oh my God, it's just fucking dirty. But yeah, that's how it looks. I haven't worn this in probably like five years, but I just won't get, a, I won't get rid of it because I just feel like it's, Something that I can give to my children and they will be like, oh my god, I'm Michael Kors, Michael Kors, yeah. So that's Michael Kors. This is a Michael Kors bag that I will never get rid of. I will keep it as a collector's item forever. This was a bag that my husband bought me before he was my husband, and he knows I love cheetah print like i say that cheetah print is one of my favorite colors and then people are like that's not a color it's a pattern but okay cheetah print is one of my favorite colors so this is the bag michael kors cheetah print <sighs> even when i look at it now i'm like girl this bag is so gorgeous why don't you wear it but it's fur so when i wear it in the rain at one time i actually okay more than once but i wore it in the rain and then the 
like the like the fur it got wet so then it looks like it kind of got like this so that's why i don't really wear it anymore but that's not really an excuse not to wear because that side is kind of like on me so you wouldn't see it but this bag is gorgeous and this is not the regular michael kors you can go on michaelkors.com and get it it's like the michael kors collection okay girl so my soon-to-be husband spent some coin on you girl that's where I was looking for this when we were traveling to Turks and Caicos. I was like, oh my God, my neck is killing me. And it was in this bag all along. But I think I'll put it in here to stuff it, to keep the shape. But I guess that's my bag. <laughs> so this is how it looks, super roomy, which I'm not that much of a big bag person anymore. I used to be in high school because I used to, you know, you have your books, your laptop, all that. But now I'm really not. But I still carry this and then it has this is the extra strap where you can like put it cross body which I love this bag is gorgeous this one is so cute and you just put it like and then you just go I could just go right now look it's gorgeous okay that's the Michael Kors bag um this is another bag and people might say it's not designer but it is steve madden is a designer i have a lot of steve madden, sh madden shoes and his shoes is very comfy and phenomenal so this is my steve madden bag i don't know if it says it but it's steve madden i don't have bags that are colorful it like like have pop color if you've noticed so this is my only red bag and i usually wear it when i'm wearing like all white or black um i like to add a pop of color and not just be like oh, i'm gonna wear a black bag or i'm gonna wear a tan bag so this is the bag i usually go for i love the little scarf right here i adore it i love this because did i just close it i just closed it I can put like my phone in here, mask, sanitizer, good to go. And I love that, like it has these little mag, are they magnetic? I don't know, but yeah, they're magnetic. And then this, oh my God, I have stuff in this bag. That's hand sanitizer right there, and that's holes. I must have been sick when I was carrying this bag, but yeah, a lot of space right there. So I will never get rid of this bag because it's literally the only bag that I have that has a pop of color, and I love it. So this is the Steve Madden bag. My husband bought this bag too. And last. But not least is the newest addition to my collection, which is the Super Mini uh, Marmot. Yeah, Gucci Super Mini Marmot. It has a little heart on the back, which most people say like it's childish, but like it's gonna, you're not gonna see the heart. It's gonna be on you, girl. Okay, calm down. But. I love the GGs. I love that you can wear it multiple ways. I love that. Literally, I wear this everywhere. I just, I had it on today. I do a crossbody and I just be like, all right, I'm out. So, I love this bag. Um, just like I said, I wore it out today, so I have stuff in it. I have my card holder gucci as well um and a mask okay girl my mask so that's what i have in it so 
this is the last bag news purchase and yeah that's my luxury collection so thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning in to our channel devotedly constantly and we would love to hear your input we would love to hear what you guys would like to see comment down below and we will try to get those videos out to you as soon as possible so once again like comment subscribe phillips king and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and we thank you so much for following us